What is it, your second day in the job? I mean, it was an interesting version of events that you put out there, Jock. Was it really? Yeah. According to whom? Well, as far as I've seen, these fans have done nothing but support you. No, no, no. This is all an act, like I said. On the one hand, they're all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever, Chalk, if you're going to come and commentate with me, we've got a match to commentate on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the quarterfinals of the Fallen Angel Championship Tournament coming up. We've got Artemis taking on Ronnie Knox. So, please just... Let's forget about you for a moment. I'm going to put your ego to one side and let's call the action. Challenge. Yeah, I know what the card is. I've got it right in front of me. Well, Artemis making her way to the ring. That is the Crimson Kill Shot. We've got a real battle of styles here. Artemis, a very, very strong and fierce competitor. She's actually a strong woman outside of the ring. She'll be taking on the technical skills of Ronnie Knox. You can tell she lifts. This is going to be tough for Ronnie Knox. Call him this now. Well, Ronnie Knox, as I mentioned, a technical wrestler. And as you just heard there, Ronnie Knox, the wrestling engineer, she's a submission expert, she's a technical wrestler, but interestingly today, she's not just here wrestling, she's got a film crew following her, can you believe, Chop? There's, there's a TV program coming out on channel, sorry, from ITV called Alter Egos as part of their Fresh Cut series. So if you see an extra camera around the ring, that is why. We have a film crew and a whole team of people from ITV here tonight. So this is going to be an interesting match because it's not just a place in the quarterfinals at stake. What he's going to want to impress on national TV. Oh, I wish I had cameras following my every move. But yeah, fair play. Be interested to see what kind of match this go goes down. You know, Artemis, all power, Ronnie, technical. Should be a good bout. Yeah. Put the lights on. Blimey. Didn't do that when I was in the ring. And we are off. Interesting to see which way this goes. Ronnie Knox facing a, 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 a real battle here against the strength of Artemis, and we're seeing that straight from the off. She's not going to give up any ground, Artemis. I've seen her work before. Strong, powerful. Ronnie's got a work cut out. Ronnie definitely the smaller of the two, but you could also argue Ronnie's maybe the more athletically adept, although that would be a close call as well. It's a bit of an assumption there. There we go. Ronnie Knox using a ring awareness to get behind Artemis, but... She's not going anywhere, Stick. Come on. Yeah. There you go. A wrist lock when your opponent is double your side isn't always the best strategy. Artemis now with the headlock. Cinching that in there. The thing is though, Chop, you've got to remember... She is a technical wrestler, is Ronnie Knox, and she's going to know a million ways out of this hold. Well, she needs to think of one now, because she's been in that headlock for a while. This is true, and here we go. And maybe this is where the strength advantage comes in, but no, Ronnie Knox managing to break free. And there we go, a cheap shot from Artemis. Send it to the corner between the legs of Artemis. Looking to escape now over the top and back again. I've got to say, from what I'm seeing so far, I think. Nope. Oh, 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 I think oh. Ronnie Knox has got the, uh, the strategy advantage. Had no idea. But I take that back. Good luck getting Artemis down. Look at the size of her legs. So, Chuck, tell me, what do you do when your opponent is that much bigger than you? But you've got to work. You've got to work the put the tr put the legs out. That's the that's the key strategy here. Work on the legs. Use your speed. 
Oh, he said. There we go. Seeing this athleticism again from Ronnie Knox in that corner. Impressive. Oof. Kick to the midsection of Artemis now. Knox up to the top row. Knox is his takedown, sending Artemis into the corner, and now Ronnie Knox perhaps starting to feed it a little bit. Oof. And then that brute force of Artemis coming back, literally straight into the face of Ronnie Knox. Here we go. A bit of blood force trauma there. And this is the viciousness of Artemis we're seeing now. And a cover there. But let's not forget about the heart of Ronnie Knox. Heart's all well and good, but when you've got someone bashing your brains in on the canvas, heart means nothing. Well, you say that, but it can be the difference between giving up and kicking out. And right now, Ronnie Knox is not giving up. Big suplex coming up. Not a good one now. We've got three amigos going on here, Stick. Yes, we have. There's two of the three here. Now Artemis again with that huge, huge suplex. And looking for that cover. Look out. That's going to that's gonna have an impact on Ronnie Knox's back. You can only really take so many of those. Well, three in a row. Hate to feel that. No, that feels. Knox now, just the midsection. Again, huge forearm to the this face from for. Artemis. This is your champion, is it? Artemis now with a little bit of trash talk. Knox off a crossbody from. Easy catch. Knox, but again, the opponent's something bigger. What we're going to get now? Oh. That is some raw. Oh no! Oh, I think Ronnie Knox managed to reverse that. I'm not sure what Artemis is going for. Nice but, uh, counter. I oh, know. This is the issue. Artemis is just cut. every time Ronnie has a moment, Artemis just cuts her off before she could get any momentum going again. Absolutely, and, and Artemis, you, you will notice, is trying to trying to wear Ronnie Knox down. You've got to think she's she's wearing her down with the ultimate intention of hitting the Atlas Stone of hers. Huge big body splash, which if she manages to hit, especially after the suplexes that Knox has taken so far, you've got to think we'll put her out quickly. Oh my word! Big spine buster. She's definitely targeting that back area. Oof. Whoa, and again we would normally associate Knox with the submission moves, but I'm not sure whether you call this a submission move or, or just simply tormenting your opponent. Artemis has took the sting out of the crowd now. This crowd now trying to get Knox back on side, trying to help her build up some momentum to break out of this hole. See what she's got. Oh. Nicely done. Knox now starting to feel this crowd, feel the energy. Huge forearm to the face, and another one, big clothesline, sending Artemis to the map. Knox looking for, oh, shoulder charge to the midsection. Good net breaker. Big net breaker, and that could be it, you know. Oof. That was very close. Three of saying it was a two count. Semi-final place here up for grabs. The uh, Fallen Angel tournament stick. Well, absolutely. We've seen some of the best female competitors in the UK go through to the, the semi-finals. And who's going to join them here? Is it going to be Artemis oh, or is it going to be Ronnie Knox? Sub. Wow, that's impressive. Is that an ab I, I'm not sure what you call that. All I know is that Ronnie Knox has got the pressure on the neck of Artemis. Into the back. Oh. Oh. Artemis oh. using the strength there to send Ronnie Knox into that corner post. Huge forearms again. Another big suplex coming up. Oh. That could be in it. Good night. Oh. It's away, no. Fair play to Ronnie, she's still going. That would have put most people away. Well, Artemis wondering now what she's got to do. The heart and soul of Ronnie Knox now really coming through here. She's looking for some kind of side push and an excellent perhaps. No, looking for a submission move. Oh, for stretch. Know that she's a submission specialist. She's got it locked in now. Knox, is Artemis going to tap? If she taps, Ronnie Knox goes through to the semi-finals. Right in the middle of the ring, there's nowhere to go. And she has it been tapped. Ronnie Knox, victorious here. What an impressive 
nice maneuver there. Just when it seemed the odds were stacked against her, Knox pulling out one of her submission specialist moves. Really locking it in, and, and Artemis, despite the size and strength advantage, has been eliminated from the tournament. That came out of nowhere, Stick. I mean, credit to Wani. Dug deep when she needed to. I thought, I thought uh, it was all over after some of those big, big uh, moves, slams that she was taking, but no, deserved victory. Well, I mentioned at the start that the athleticism advantage could be what is the deciding factor here, and I think that's what's played out. A real battle of styles there, two contrasting styles. Technical ability and pure brute strength. And either one of these two would have been a worthy winner, but Ronnie Knox leaves and advances to the semi-finals of the Fallen Angel Tournament. Be a good one for the uh, old TV show.